Welcome to Glenwood Springs in the middle of winter. So we are spending one full day here in Glenwood Springs, kind of doing all the things you can do in one day here. Now we have been here before and I have created an entire vlog on some of the best things to do, eat and see in the summertime. And we loved it so much, we decided we had to come back and experience it here in winter time. So if you're interested in visiting Glenwood Springs, Colorado in winter time, then follow along as I'm gonna share some of the best things to do, eat and see in one full day. Let's get started. All right, you guys, we just got to downtown Glenwood Springs and if you're familiar with my videos I live in Colorado and I do a lot of Colorado outdoor and town content travel guides hiking all the things you know the first thing we do is go get coffee so we're trying out the River Bend coffee house so I got a cinnamon roll that we're gonna share and then I got actually hot chocolate I decided last minute not to get a coffee but Vince got a mocha they're both really really good so I'm excited to try this cinnamon roll Two thumbs up for Riverbend Coffee. It was really good. The people are really sweet there. Everything was great. The cinnamon roll, highly recommend. Definitely coming back here when we come back again. <laughs> so Riverbend Coffee is actually located right across from the Amtrak station. Right up here is the walking path to cross the highway and you get a beautiful overlook of the area we are going next. So we got our coffees. We're gonna walk the walkway up and over and you'll see where our next spot is. You see steam behind me? Because that's where we're going next, you guys. The world's largest hot springs. So this is Glenwood Springs Hot Springs. It is one of the largest hot springs in the world. It is 18 degrees right now and it is steaming and hot down there. So we are excited to get down there and get it. <laughs> Let's go. We made it. We brought our own bags with, with towels and everything. Otherwise, they charge for those. Tickets for our full day admission were $26 for adults. They have a women and men's locker room that includes a bathroom, lockers, change room, and showers. in the summer but when it's 18 degrees out you get the steam <laughs> it's so warm But you got the snow cap mountains and the steaminess taking place in winter, which is pretty cool. So we've never been to the Blue Lagoon in Iceland, but I feel like this might be kind of a similar experience. Soon, soon. <laughs> but I can tell you one thing, it is going to be freezing when we get out of these hot springs. <laughs> I don't have my arm above the water, it's extremely yeah. cold. <laughs> it's okay, it's worth it. <laughs> That was a beautiful way to start the day here in Glenwood Springs. That was so relaxing and so nice. So we are at our next stop. Such a cool thing that Glenwood Springs has their adventure park open year round. Some of the uh, activities in the adventure park aren't open year round, but quite a few are. And one of them is behind me, the gondola. And then they got a few other attractions we might be checking out here. Let's go head up on the top of the mountain and check it out. So winter pricing is a little cheaper than summer pricing. So there's a few different tickets you can purchase here. We decided to purchase just the gondola tickets before we purchase full tickets for the rest of the activities. You can always upgrade your tickets at the gift shop if you decide to do more. Cap Mountains. So crazy thing, under all that snow is a deep, red, beautiful rock. It's so pretty. 
Oh, it's so beautiful being here in this different season. It's full seasons here in Glenwood Springs. It's just gorgeous. We made it to the top. So all the attractions are up here on top of the hill with this overlook of Glenwood Springs in the background. That's where the adventure park is. The one activity we wanted to check out before we decided to upgrade our tickets was the Alpine Coaster. So the Alpine Coaster looks really cool. We're definitely gonna do it. The Alpine Coaster was so fun. When you first get in the slide, the staff will give you directions and safety information. You are strapped in with a seatbelt and your hands control the speed and braking of the coaster. You will race down 3,400 feet of track where you will reach speeds up to 25 miles per hour. As you're going super fast around hairpin turns and up and down hills, you think you're gonna fly off, but it's not possible as the coasters are affixed to the track and the entire time you have some amazing mountain views. We had so much fun, we ended up going down the slide three times. When you get down the track, there's a nice slow cable system that pulls you right back up the mountain. When I say this was fun, it was really, really fun. <laughs> the Alpine slide is so awesome and it goes way faster than I expected. Like, it was really cool. And the cool thing about coming here in winter is there's no lines there's hardly anyone here prices are cheaper and not as many people no lines. it's a bonus of coming here in winter <laughs> all right we're headed back down on the gondola so just heads up you there are some cave tours and stuff you can do here too uh, where we weren't interested in doing any of that but it is included in the ticket so alpine side gondola and some amazing views here at the glenwood springs that alpine coaster that's fun <laughs> We did it three times. We did. We, we just couldn't resist. <laughs> so, highly recommend the Alpine slide. So, right outside of like the downtown area is the Doc Holiday Grave Trail that I've heard really good things about. It's short, I think it's like a mile round trip. We did put our boots and our spikes on just because this trail is snowy and kind of packed down and that can cause slippery trails. So, we're gonna go do a quick hike before we head to lunch. Yeah, I'm really glad we have our micro spikes. This is very icy, so just heads up if you come do this hike. There's some absolutely amazing aerial views here from this trail of the town and the mountains. And FYI, the trail gets quite muddy too on some of the areas where the snow has melted. All right, we made it to John Henry Holiday's gravesite. All right, that was a perfect little hike. So if you wanted to get out, do a little walk in, get some exercise, highly recommend that trail. Beautiful. We are back downtown Glenwood Springs. And if you are looking for the best shopping in all of Colorado, the best shops with the most variety, it's this place. Glenwood Springs has it. They have the coolest shops with everything you can think of. So we did a lot of shopping last time we were here. We have about an hour to burn until the restaurant opens that we're gonna eat at. So um, yeah, we're gonna check out some more shops. would quickly do a pre-dinner drink. Um, we saw there's a Doc Holiday Saloon. So I uh, figured we'd go check it out, get a drink before we go to lunch. This is the Doc Holiday Saloon Tavern. <laughs> cool. Amaretto on the rocks. Vince got a course 
We have been to the Silver Dollar Saloon in Leadville. This reminds us so much of that saloon. It's so cool. It's like your classic saloon feel. Like if you were to step back in the day, this is this is the feeling. <laughs> it's finally lunchtime. We're hungry. We worked up an appetite today. <laughs> Smoke barbecue. You guys, this is such a nice place. Look at this. So we're sharing this three meat platter. And we got ribs, smoked chicken, and pulled pork. This looks so good with some steak fries and mac and cheese. And they have all the sauces here. They have mustard, three different kinds of barbecue sauces. Oh, this is perfect. No, I'm using thick and sweet pulled pork. Mm. That's really good pork. Mm -hmm. It's super smoky, like flavored. Very good. Oh my gosh, smoke. That place is legit. Legit. It was some of the best barbecue we've ever had ever. Ever. Oh, Glenwood Springs downtown has some of the best food, best shopping. It's just the cutest. You just you just gotta walk around and enjoy it all. And we're gonna enjoy what we're having next. Cream. This place is so good. I got Shara Samoa, I think, and chocolate chip mint. It's so good. I did samples before I chose my flavors. Cream award goes to them. Oh my god, Samoa. Oh my Samoa gosh. Cream, ice cream. <laughs> so good. And it's right here, right next to Smoke, right down the street. So over here. Our last stop for the day is another hot springs, of course. <laughs> Start your day with a hot spring, any day with a hot spring. That's what you do in Glenwood Springs. <laughs> we saved the best for last because we personally feel this is the best hot spring here in Glenwoods. It is Iron Mountain Hot Springs. And it's a gem, so let's go. Just a heads up, you do have to get reservations in order to come here. It's not just show up and go in like the last one. Um, so they have a really easy system right on their website to get tickets. So we got ours right here. Here we are, we got our bags again with our towels and everything. There's your required reservation sign. <laughs> Iron Mountain tickets are $32 per person. These hot springs are separated into multiple pools and sits right on the Colorado River with a beautiful mountain backdrop. And they serve a variety of drinks and alcohol that you can enjoy in the hot springs. <laughs> And that is a wrap here on our day trip to Glenwood Springs in the winter time. Whew. It is so pretty here in winter. We were both going back and forth on how much we love it in the summer, how much we love this in the winter. This is definitely one of those towns you can come to year round. Every season is beautiful. So many great things are available to do year round here. I know there's even ski resorts really close. So if you're into that, you can check that out. So I hope this vlog was inspiring and gave you lots of great ideas on some of the best things to do, eat and see here in Glenwood Springs in one day. Thank you guys so much for watching. And like I said, if you're visiting here in the summer, definitely go check out my other vlog too. So many great things in that vlog as we did an entire weekend here. So check it out and be sure to subscribe and follow along for more Colorado content. We'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys. Thank you.